Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of area of composite figures. This is standard 7.9c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 21 off the 2022 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got a sidewalk and it's made up of two triangles, a rectangle and a square. So we are gonna use something called the additive property of area. And what this means is that you can take some shapes and if they are next to each other, touching but not overlapping, you can find the area of each smaller shape, add them all together and get the area of the larger shape. So we've got this really strange looking sidewalk here, but we're gonna break it down into two triangles, a rectangle and a square and just add up those four chunks. So let's start with the easy one. Looks like we got a rectangle here, right? So the area of the rectangle is gonna be base times height and it looks like they've given us the base times height, right? So the base of 18, height of sixth, six. So let's see what that is going to be. That is going to be 108 square feet. All right, well, that was simple. I have a feeling it's gonna get a little bit harder because that's pretty straightforward. Let's check this square here. All right, well, so the area of a square is going to be uh, the side squared or the side times side. You can say base times height, but if this height is six, then that means this right here is also six. So that's going to be six squared which is the same as not six times two, but six times itself twice, six times six. So that makes 36. All right, so we've got 36 square feet. So that's 36 in the square. Now, hmm, I'm not really seeing any measurements for the triangles. So that's where I think the little bit of logic and reasoning comes in here. So the area of a triangle is one half base times height. It looks like both triangles are equal. We can just find one and double it, but you can't just take that for what it's worth. So let's see. Uh, we know the height is going to be the six, right? We got that six right there. All right, so we can figure this out. Look, this is six feet because from here to here is six feet because that's, uh, that's the base of that square. We know from there to there is going to be 18 feet because that is the base of the rectangle. So whatever is left over has to be the other base of that triangle. So six and so we're going to take 30 and we're going to take away 18, we're gonna take away six. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna end up with six. All right, so we do have another base of six feet. So these are identical congruent triangles, but we proved it mathematically rather than just eyeballing it. You never wanna just look at it. We we're able to prove it mathematically. Okay, so we're gonna take our area of a triangle and then we're simply gonna double it. So one half base times height. So I've got one half. My base is six, my height is six, okay? And then we're gonna take all of that and we're gonna just double that because there's two of those triangles. So six times six is 36, so we're looking at half of 36, so that's going to be 18. And then there's two of those, so if you double that back up, well then guess what, you get back up to the 36. Yeah, that makes sense because if you put these two triangles together, Guess what you get? Get a square. Uh, and so you would just get the base times height, which is six times six. Okay, so these are my three measurements here. 36, 36, 108. So now we just need to use the additive property, add them up, and you're gonna get 180. The answer is D.